Charles Bean, the founder of the Australian War Memorial, had three objectives for this Hall of Memory. He wanted it to be a place of national commemoration, of national unity, and for it to have a spiritual ambience. But the spirituality would be for the men of the Australian Imperial Force and the nurses. He commissioned Napier Waller in 1937 to design the internals of what you now see. He was badly wounded in the arm, shoulder and back. The surgeons knew he was an artist in civilian life and worked hard to save his painting arm, but in the end couldn't. The arm was amputated at the shoulder, the complete loss of his principal artistic instrument. The choice of Napier Waller to work on the Hall of Memory was a really good one, being a returned soldier and also, by that point, Australia's premier artist in mosaic and stained glass windows. He set about the job in 1937, but it became a 22-year project by the time he'd finally finished. There were three sets of five, social qualities, personal qualities, and fighting qualities. And in those three sets, he created archetypes linked to each quality. And in the windows, we can see detail and symbols associated with those particular qualities. <laughs> 